got asked to audition, went down there. And it was, it was, I'll never forget this because I think the first song we did was like, yeah, Nothing to Lose was like one of the songs. Wow. And I had to sing and play guitar and it was like, all right. And I'm, first of all, I'm just tripping because it's like, <laughs> that's Peter Chris. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden he goes, counting, and he goes, one, two, three, four, kick, kick, kick. Blinka, 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 you know, the classic. And I was, I almost couldn't play because I was just so floored. I was actually jamming with this guy, you know. And it's like, as soon as he hit the cowbell, you know, it was him. And and I did a few songs with him. It went great. And I ended up working with Peter in that band for, I don't know, it was probably two or three years. I did an EP and a whole length album and a video and a number of tours. And Peter was awesome. I mean, it's, I, 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 I loved working with Peter then. I mean, I was young. He was a bit older than us with a lot of experience and just a lot of knowledge of, you know, I mean, the guy had sold so many records and been, had, there was so much to learn from him. And I was just so glad I had the opportunity to just get to know the guy and, and, and learn what I did from him. And it was an honor to play with him. And I got to be, you know, I got to sing Detroit Rock City in Detroit on Saturday nights, you know, and wow. it was, it was, it was, it was mind blowing.